Has it ever happened to you to be literally in paradise and then be placed under house arrest? Because that just happens to me. I spent the past few weeks in Portugal and I really recommend it to anyone who can travel. It's just an amazing place, nature-wise and in terms of, of culture, people, I mean, I basically been at the beach for 15, 20 days straight. Not just any beach to be honest, some of the most beautiful places on earth. Let me know in the comments if you know where this is by the way. I'll let you know if you're right. What happened is that after three weeks of being there, I am now in London and I'm doing the mandatory quarantine. So I'm basically stuck at home. I'm staring at blank walls and what I see is sand, you know, the sea, warm, I don't know, blue skies, tanned bodies. I just have all of that imprinted. Let's get out there and represent it, you know, paint it. I just got my easel, ah! <laughs> it arrived in the mail today, need to basically put it all together, so ui, it's falling apart, let's start it. I've bought this easel on Amazon, it's a pretty good cheap find, it's not the best because the wood is very light and also I'm finding that the screws don't really hold it as much in place as I uh, kind of hoped for. But, all things considered, this one is really the perfect height if you enjoy painting while sitting down, so it's really good for me. And it's incredibly cheap as well. I will leave the link down in the description below, just in case you're wanting to buy something similar. It's all ready. Now, just for a reference, uh, what I'll do is try to get the details of the face, which I don't have quite clear. So for that, I'll just take a selfie in a similar position, which I think would be similar to this, more or less. Like this. And in reality, I'm less interested in the actual you know, way my face, for example, is, but more in the overall form. And, and really what I'm thinking is how, you know, the colours will play. Because it's not really a portrait, it's not a self-portrait. You know, what I want to do is to bring that moment back to, to life, or, or at least, you know, to, to a physical thing that I can look at. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the details of how the, the face actually is built, they're not that important, really. Welcome to day two. My idea is not necessarily to lose the contour of the painting that I'm trying to make or to get rid of the under, you know, the sketch. The way that I add a, a background colour also helps me delineate the, the different uh, kind of spaces on the canvas. I've just realized I'm the only woman on YouTube who's not wearing makeup. I do want to give that warm feel. I think the red will do just that. And if you notice me looking down all the time, um, 
because I've made a, a little sketch which is not very, you know, it's not perfect at all. It's just a way for me to to actually know, uh, you know, where I want to place the the shadows and the lights. So I just did the. It's kind of like a mental map. Red colors usually, at least in acrylics, they tend to be very transparent. That actually works very well for me in this case because. It's the, the shadow what I'm trying to paint and I really like the blue coming up a little bit. But painting is something that I love because it's it's deceivably simple. There's nothing simple about it. I mean, the amount of decisions, you know, sometimes millimetric decisions, or, you know, the, the difference between an extra int of color when you're mixing or, you know, brush stroke that is slightly off you can't really change a, a painting completely, the, the way you see it. It's just the reality that, you know, the red colors are transparent, so if you wanted a very, like, bright red, either you have to do several layers of red paint, but that doesn't really work too well. I mean, unless you want something really dark. But if it's not the case, then most of the times what I do is to just block it with white color and then overlay the red on top and the you know the pure color will show I'm not going to be able to finish this painting in a video only and uh, for that reason I'll make a, a second one that kind of goes through uh, the finishing of a painting. And this is how far I've gotten with it during these past four days. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be making more of these for sure. And if you're interested in seeing how I finalize the, the painting then Stay tuned, uh, it's gonna come out next Wednesday. Uh, so yeah, if you want to know more about my channel and what you know this is all about, it's a super recent project, I started it a week ago exactly. So uh, make sure that you watch my, my first video, I'm gonna leave it somewhere here on the screen uh, if you're interested. I'm honestly watching the progress every single day and really appreciate all of you guys you know, watching and commenting, it's, it's been lovely.